Hello everyone and thank you for checking today's video. In this episode, we will look at Safi Eric's daughter. A Celestia commander with an aristocrat style strategy, where combo piece is readily available at the command zone, making it easier to assemble our engine. Our main strategy is to have one of many combo lines in order to create a loop that would instantly end the game. This would often include Safi being the main sacrifice creature, then we would add a free sack engine, a support creature, and finally, a win condition. The strength of this deck however, is that most of the combo pieces are interchangeable while still adding individual values to the deck. To start off, we will look at some cheap creatures that perfectly combos with our commander. Extraction Specialist and Renegade Rallyer are our low-costed combo creatures that pair well with Safi as they can be easily targeted by our commander, bringing them back when they die, and then get Safi back due to her low 2 mana value and starting a chain. Sun Titan, Karmic Guide, and Angel of Glory's Rise can also be used for this same effect, though they do have larger mana value. However, these creatures have the flexibility to combo off with other cards other than Safi, making them very valuable. Sun Titan can work well with either Fiend Hunter, Gift of Immortality, or Angelic Renewal as the Titan can bring any of these cards back when at ETB, allowing us to create a sacrifice loop. Karmic Guide on the other hand, can team up with Revel Lark where each creature would continuously pull each other out of the graveyard, with the latter giving us an option to include another creature to the mix. With the, these two creatures and a sack outlet, adding Elvish Visionary or Spirited Companion can draw us any amount of cards, while Acidic Slime, Skyclave Apparition, or Knight of Autumn can be used to remove some problematic permanents we may encounter. Then Angel of Glory's Rise can mass resurrect a bunch of humans we control, along with Safi Eric's daughter to get multiple values from their ETB triggers, while also having the bonus of getting rid of any zombie creatures, should there be any of those in the battlefield. In order to complete our engine, we would also need some free sacrifice outlets like Martyr's Cause, Fanatical Devotion, or Spawning Pit, which also offer some additional values outside our combo. But the best of these are either Blasting Station or Altar of Dementia, as these two outlets can also serve as our wing cons to take the game. Add in Triskelion as a backup and deal some damage, go into one of our loops, and regain its plus one plus one counters ready to be used repeatedly. Finally, a great alternate combo line we can use is with Vizier of Remedies, as it lessens the amount of minus one minus one counters placed on a creature, rather than saying the counters can't be placed, Devoted Druid can be used to gain an infinite amount of green mana, while Persist creatures such as Kitchen Finks or Lesser Masticor can be repeatedly sacrificed without gaining any counters. Now, to further improve the power of this deck, we'd recommend checking some of these non-budget upgrades that would fit a Safi EDH. Phyrexian Altar and Ashnod's Altar are great replacement outlets as they can give us infinite mana, while Altar of the Brood gives us a cheap alternate way to deck out opponents. Efficient Tutors such as Aladimri's Call, Finale of Devastation, or Enlightened Tutor can easily get us the combo pieces we need. Aura Shards is a great control card that can easily wipe out opposing artifacts or enchantments, Protein Hulk can set up multiple creatures to prepare our combo, and finally, we'll add Loyal Retainers, which is a card that seems to be perfectly made for Safi, as these two can synergize together even without any outlet, and just needs a wing con to close out the game. Overall, Safi is an amazing toolbox commander that have multiple ways of finishing the game. The creatures used in the combos are interchangeable, making it hard for our opponents to decide which key piece to take out. Having access to white and green also gives us lots of interaction to hate, assuring us that we can go for the kill without problems once we're ready. To see my full list of this deck, please click the link on the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, please like share and subscribe, we'd really appreciate it. So until next time, thank you for visiting and see you all in our next Quick Deck Tech.